It's all about providing you, the customers, with the best big boy stories in Malaysia. He is the Chief Operating Officer of the NASA Group. So therefore, you know that they have all the luxury brands under the umbrella. And we're catching up with him right here in front of their showroom before he goes off for one of his trips. As you can see, traffic is heavy and traffic is always heavy here in NASA. His name is Dato SM Sokebli. My name is Sai Fardino Omar and you're watching In Person. <laughs> Maserati behind me, but I've also got Aprilia, Ducati, Harley Davidson, Indian, Vespa, all the major Italian brands and American brands are here. But the man I'm meeting today is all about joy on two wheels, and here's the man himself, Dato. Hi. Thank you so much for having some time uh, for me. It's amazing. If I had all these toys to play with, I wouldn't have time for anything else. But this is yours, yeah? Yeah. It's my baby. This is your baby. My baby. So, do you, when do you find time between work and everything else to to go out on this? Um, it's hobby, you know, your passion. You know, you always find time, and then um, it's a part of the family activities. You know, ride together with the wife, with the kids. Yeah. Know. Um, it's, just, it's not just about the riding. It's about the experience there with the families. So it's 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 a family affair. So it's, it's, family it's affair. sort of like a holiday every time you go out with this with the family. Yeah, there is. There is. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh. A, it's, uh, my kids enjoy it. Uh -huh. uh, my wife enjoy it. Um, and then uh, riding is part. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. It's about the journey. It's yeah. About the journey. Then uh, had that many times. We, yeah, we see the scenery. You know, surprisingly, sometimes riding, uh, you don't see what you see when you're riding. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Um, Nice uh, road in Malaysia, corners, uh, highway, beaches, you know. It's a very okay. interesting. Tato is painting a picture for me that, you know, that's making me want to go out there. I mean, you look at all the toys that we have here. We've got Indian, we've got, you know, the Aprilia, yeah. you've got, you've got pretty much everything here. So now, looking at all the brands that you have in front of me, behind me, all the way across this very nice and lovely courtyard, uh, and all the brands that you have in the entire country, it's, the big boy stories, like I put it. So yeah. what does it mean to you to be the COO of all this wonderful luxury, oh, so I want them brands? <laughs> okay, uh, a lot of my friends said that I have a fun job, you know, the best job in the world. Yeah, yeah I think I so, think. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes. Uh, you know, what else? You know, uh, we have all the nice brands, all the brands that uh, people want to be associated with, yeah. you know, uh, people proud to own. And then I'm here working for this brand, you know, developing the business and meeting the the owner of this brand, who are high network people. So you know, uh, it's very interesting, very very interesting. Then I'm very proud to be part of this brand uh, in Malaysia. Yeah. yeah. So when you go out there, and you know, what do you feel every time you go out on the roads? Let's say you're in your car. You're very. Uh, I I would imagine your daily driver to be quite sedated and not so pompous. And you're in your car and then you see a Harley go past or a Ducati go past. What do you feel when you see that? I'm pretty proud. Then I know that it's uh, come from me. <laughs> then other than that, actually, I'm admiring them. I'm jealous. When I'm in the car and driving, when I see the pass by, mm -hmm. is it a spirit that oh, I should go and ride today? You know, <laughs> oh, this kind of right. thing. So, I see, it, it's the things that uh, you can't describe with the words. Because riding, actually, uh, if, you're, if you're not riding, People say, wow, dangerous, mm. you know, worry, yes, yes. you know, hot sun. I know. You see, uh, but this is the thing. So, why don't, uh, before I start seriously riding, uh, I have the same thing from chauffeur behind the nice cars, yeah. you know, uh, seats comfortably, you don't need to beat the jam, no traffic, no nothing, you know. Uh, I have the same uh, uh, perceptions. Yeah. Why should I ride? Yeah. You know, until? You know, until, you know, when I started riding by myself. You know, riding is two type of riding. Yeah. Uh, I'm from Kampo. You know, riding motorcycles, you know, a new thing for me. Okay. Yeah. 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 You know, we going everywhere, you no know, transport, Kampo, bus, jauh, you know. But this is to be more than riding. Yeah. Yes, it is about the passion of the brand, you know, the excitement with the brands, you know. And then people are looking at you. You, you, know, you win nice cars. People say, wow, nice cars. 
Yeah, but it's only it's not anywhere. People come to you and looking at the bike, you yeah. know, touching the bike, asking you, you know, a lot of questions. Yeah. You know? uh, then you feel then proud. Yeah. You know, then uh, not only that, when you ride with groups, with friends. Yeah. yeah? So then um, the total freedoms, you know, uh, we put all the job behind. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, somehow I'm still in the job, I'm yeah. still working, but, yeah. you know, put the job behind. We, uh, we talk about same passions, you yeah? know. We talk about the uh, accessories, we talk about so many things, you know, right? And then we talk about the journey, you know, we talk about the corner that we have. Uh, these are the initiatives in with my wife's experience. Yeah. And my wife's before we are with my So when uh, I bought the truck, yeah. so I tried three wheeler, so she had more confidence. She joined me to Katashik Vinyel. Yeah. So when the, she reached Katashik Vinyel, then I told her, okay, tomorrow when we go to Camera Highland, do you want to ride or you want to go to the cars? She is riding. And she said, riding. And my daughter said, Pa, I also want to go. You know, then my daughter, before when I took a bike, and she said, Pa, you bought a bike? <laughs> you know? So I said, yeah. So when they started once, they seen the experience or they experienced the uh, the riding, yeah. then it's everything changed. And it's also about the sound. I mean, you can hear it, you can hear it. A Harley Davidson just goes past. So when a Harley Davidson goes past, you cannot mistake it for anything else. That sound, it just touches you from deep inside, doesn't it? Yeah, people say expensive sound. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's some irritating sounds, but some sounds that you like to listen. Yeah. This is the sounds that noise, uh, and it's loud, but you love it. It's like I don't call it noise, I definitely <laughs> call it music. I'm, I'm, I'm in the door, I, I call it music. No, you know, if we look at, okay, let's look not just at the bikes, but at the cars as well. If you have money, you go to any kampung, la, simple, la. you say, oh, you've got money now. What do you want to buy? Ferrari. Check. Yep, they have it. So, the bike world, what's the equivalent of a Ferrari? A Ducati. Check. Ducati. They have it. If you're not into, you know, that kind of bike, say you want to go into a cruising, you have a Harley Davidson. Check. You've got Harley Davidson. So you've got the major brands, you've got Ducati, you've got Harley Davidson, you've got the Indian, you've got Aprilia. So you've got top rung, just under the top rung, and pretty much everything else. And they're all Italian and they're all exquisite and they're all and you've got American muscle as well. So is there such a thing as competitor in your world right now? Actually, uh, it's not really competitors. I, I don't see that it's competitor. My market is a big enough. You see, and then uh, we look at Ducati or Harley Davidson. Yeah. They have a many segment of bike. Uh -huh. It's a cater for many needs. You know, even like Ferrari, we have FF, FF for four seater cars. Yes. Where you can take your kids and mm. your wife to shopping. Mm. You know, it's compared to the uh, 599. Uh, the GDP right now. Yeah. Two years. Two years. Uh, and uh, California. Yeah. So it's cater for different different things. And same like bikes. You know. So we are not selling transported. Mm -hmm. uh, our bike here is a passion and lifestyle. Yeah. So you like Ducati, for example. We have monster for daily naked bike, you know. Uh, you still can have the fun part of it and also the lifestyle. Then for dual purpose, we have Matistrada, yeah. you know. For urban riding, we have a diver. Yeah. And same the Ali. Yeah. You know, Harley, we have Atras for two persons, you know. And then uh, we have Dyna for uh, single ride, you know. Then we have v rock for people who like muzzle and yeah. speed, see? we have everything. So for me, usually uh, everyone in the market usually want to have different things. Mm -hmm. So they want to have nice car, but at the same time they maybe want to have nice bike, uh, you know, for dual purpose, yeah. or maybe someone with a wife they want to cruise. So actually, what I'm looking at is we are not competing. Mm -hmm. We supplement the needs of the people. Right. So yeah. all segments covered. Yeah, all That's segments covered, saying. yeah. Okay, right. Well, we have to go for a very short break right now, but when we come back, we have more questions. We have, uh, we are going to see how passion is married into work so that you don't look at it as work at all. Stay with us on in person. Okay, as you can see, the weather has uh, taken a turn for the worse. So what better way to spend an evening like this rather than to have coffee and have a good chat with someone who is passionate about his work? Now, Beto, you... It is about passion, basically, at the end of the day. All these big boys toys and all these um, nice cars, nice motorbikes that you surround yourself with every day. This passion, 
has got to come from somewhere. What you said earlier about orang kampung, motorbike, come very natural, I don't buy that. <laughs> it has to come from somewhere. Where, where, you know, tell us about this. Uh, actually, actually it's very much related to no, orang kampung. You know, very <laughs> much related. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's still very much related. Because when I um, uh, was small, when I was small, you know, we were looking at people, or was watching a movie, nice cars, you know, there's a motivation uh, for me, you know, for myself, you know, for motivation uh, to own or to be close to the brand, you know, or yeah. close to the cars, you know. And then this is everybody, it's not only me, even when we have many people who came here take photo with the cars, you know. So then uh, these dreams become reality when I start working with Azar with my brothers. Mm -hmm. you know? So then uh, uh, we started, Nazar started with Arikon cars, you know. And then we started with Mrs. Ben. Then uh, I, I made a volunteer. I said, I, I like to hate these companies. I like to run these companies. Yeah. You know? Because I said, oh, this will put me much more closer to the past. Closer <laughs> to the brand. Smart. Yeah. Very yeah. smart. So then uh, it's a passion. You feel so nice, you know, surrounding not only with the cars, with the bike, nice bike, even with the people. Mm -hmm. Somehow, who oh, own this car, actually, this must be somebody. People own this bike must be somebody. It's not easy to meet all of them. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for to be appointment to meet every one of them. Uh, maybe so much difficulty years. Yeah. Then uh, uh, this is my opportunities to know to know people, to uh, uh, to uh, mix with them, you know, share the same passions. You know. So uh, that is where I come from. So, you know, I feel that I'm not selling cars. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not selling a bike. I'm selling a lifestyle. I'm selling a. Uh, experience, mm -hmm. you know, totally different. Like, like Ali Davidson, for example. Yeah. I never sold a bike. Actually, uh, what I'm trying to uh, uh, sell is the owning Ali Davidson's experience. Experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, is a um, people say uh, Ali Davidson not just a bike. You know, it is a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Look at it, not just a bike. It's a lifestyle. Correct. If you want to buy a bike, not other brand in the market. Yeah. Why must be Ducati? Why must be Ferrari if the cars? Why must be Maserati? It's a status symbol, uh, uh, it's a, uh, the performance, the technology behind it. You know, this is, uh, I think everyone, not only me, I think you can ask anyone, everybody wants to be associated with this. Mm. But I'm the lucky one. <laughs> I'm the lucky one, got this opportunity. So you are clearly passionate about the toys. Yes. So how do you marry that passion with work and make it into a successful synergy? It will. Uh, it's very much like if you love your family, you take mm -hmm. care of your families, you know, you care for them, mm -hmm. you know, and then you put yourself uh, part of them. You know. And then when I love my works, you know, I put myself part of my works, mm -hmm. you know, uh, then uh, I don't do it because I got salary and all the day, or I got paid to do so. Mm -hmm. Usually, uh, if you do willingly, you know, and uh, start love what you do, you know, then the passion will come together. We go back to what you said earlier about you know you buy a Ducati, you buy a Harley, you buy a Ferrari. It's not about buying a product, but it's about the experience of owning one and, and, and enjoying one. Uh, so you participate in that. So you are also part of that experience. So on a personal level, how do you make the experience of your customers richer? I know we've spoken about this before, and you've got oh my god, I told you, you've got so many plans. It takes another show just to cover the plans it has to make this experience richer. But okay, in just. What are some of your ideas in making this experience richer? Okay, actually, uh, with the example of uh, Ducati. Mm -hmm. yeah? So, uh, when I own the Matistrada, uh, I'm right the Matistrada. It's a dual purpose bike. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, I said it's not just a bike. If any bike, you can ride anywhere you want to go. Right. Yeah. But the Matistrada is built for dual purpose. So, uh, what I do is I, uh, I come up with ideas. You know? We have a uh, riding experience that we can go off-road, you know, uh, up hills, all this thing. And then we do in 10 days uh, kind of uh, uh, riding experience. Mm -hmm. You're not just about riding the bike, and then the places that we go, you know, the journey that we pass, you know, and then the groups that we meet, mm -hmm. you know. So this is uh, uh, developing the interest of uh, the owner, uh, you know, to buy a multistrada. Is it not just to them, uh, buy my multistrada, is it? So if you bought my multistrada, you have all this experience come together with it. Right. You know? right. And the same like Ali, we have, uh, we have uh, many kind of writing. Yeah. You know? I love uh, the name of your, your club, Harley Owners 
Ah, you want to go to the yeah. So uh, this is in the National Club, anyway. So then, uh, uh, Hani, we have a networking all over the world. Uh, Hani Honor Group, they have uh, 2.1 million owners uh -huh. worldwide. Wow. Uh -huh. So then, uh, then, if we go to Indonesia or go to Brunei or go to any countries, uh, we can just make contact with Hani Honor Group there. Then you're meeting new people and they have rights together with us. Mm -hmm. So then I have groups that from Malaysia, how do you want to go? We go to US, riding in the US, go to the factories of Ali Davidson, meet their grandson of Ali Davidson. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the experience that not everybody can do. Yeah. You know, this is uh, the thing that I'm just why I say I'm selling the experience, selling the lifestyle. You know, we fly everywhere, we go everywhere, we ride together with many type of people, many cultures, many countries. Yeah. So, uh, why did lately on the Dukati Majusada, we go to Borneo. Yeah. Uh, people to, to why must be Borneo also? I said, do you know that uh, I said, we have 58 uh, ethnic in Borneo. From Kuching to KK, yeah. we pass by, we're going to meet so many things different than anywhere we were. Yeah. So then, uh, this is, I said, that the experience that we bring together with the bikes. Yeah. Okay? So, uh, like us, uh, we have a plan now to bring the Ferrari and have a drive in KK. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a lot of our local owners said, go to KK and drive a Ferrari in KK. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is something that they have to never do, they never did. Mm -hmm. So, this is the, the buying experience okay. that we have, you know. It's not just own a Ferrari, go to track this, or something this, like this, that. This KK Ferrari excursion, now we have to go for a short break right now, but just as a wild factor, how many Ferraris again are you expecting to go for this KK excursion? Are we expecting at least 60 minimum. 60 Ferraris, yes. yeah. 60 Ferraris in Kota Kinabalu, that's a very small town, yeah? So 60 Ferraris is going to be a very noisy group of cars in KK. So stay with us on your person, we've got more questions for that talk. Uh, that was all. So we're back and like I said, we're enjoying coffee and this is the very last segment I have with uh, Dr. Zona. Um, this is the last video. So let's let's take a step back and look at things more holistically. Now, NASA as a group is a company with a vast portfolio. It ranges from luxury bikes to luxury cars to um, property with multi-billion dollar gross development values right down to frozen yogurt. So you've got from very bottom right to the very top. So the question is, how do you and everybody else who help run this big company find that, that, that harmony in trying to find an equal, uh, similar goal for everybody uh, to attain success? Um, okay, it is, I think, the culture has been uh, created by the founder of the NASA group, my mm -hmm. brother, Tansina mm Sinudin. -hmm. And then uh, he's been uh, exposed all the family. Uh, and, and, uh, my chairman now, Dr. Faisal, mm -hmm. uh, SM Nasa, then uh, all the sisters, and my brother, uh, another brother, Dr. Saluddin. Actually, um, we've been uh, trained, actually looking at things differently. Uh, you know, uh, uh, for me, we, doing, we do what we like, what we love. You know, uh, same like food uh, in the any industry, mm -hmm. like uh, if you're good, uh, Tutti Frutti, for example. Yeah. I was told, uh, I'm, not, I'm not running that, it's uh, my niece uh, yeah. doing that. But I was told uh, when she was at that shop in the uh, US, mm -hmm. you know, then she liked it, and she feel that it's something good that we can bring mm -hmm. down here. It started from there. You know, when uh, my chairman, Dato Faisal, bringing brothers to Malaysia, yeah. he saw the cars, he loved the car, he liked the cars, you know. Then uh, he bring the brand back to Malaysia. Mm -hmm. uh, since like Harley Davidson, you know, we saw Harley Davidson, and you know, we feel that wow, this is something nice. We started from what we like, mm -hmm. you know. And then when we like something, again, back to the patients, you know, when we love something, then we do it with hearts, and then uh, we show success. Yeah. You know? So this is where we start. If we do something that we don't like, mm -hmm. you know, then uh, success may be very yeah. far behind. It's an yeah. to la. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's how honest you are yeah. about, about what you do. Yeah. Now, I want to go deeper into yourself here. Um, fine, this is a family, this is a family entity that, that we're looking at here. But for yourself, what are your personal goals and personal aims for the next year? And how do you plan to achieve it? Okay, uh, my thing is, every year is a new year. Every year is new year, you know, we have achieved uh, 
a certain target mm -hmm. uh, or become a major player in the buying industry, for example. But to sustain, actually, uh, you must add new elements, mm -hmm. uh, new things, uh, new ways, yeah? and then get yourself updated mm -hmm. with the current needs. And then for me, Malaysia is a very young country. And then it's a blast somehow that uh, uh, my chairman is a young, uh, <laughs> because he understand what the young people need. Mm -hmm. you know? And then um, this is uh, where we're looking at things. You know, maybe last 20 years, the need of our people is very much different. You see, now the country is uh, getting older, but the citizens getting younger. So they are they play different games. Uh, I always told my kids, you know, I was 21 before, mm -hmm. but when I'm 21, usually I play bully, I play uh, different games. Yeah. You know, you're 21, you play different things. So uh, the biggest mistake that a lot of people did is when they start thinking about himself and pass all these years. Mm -hmm. But when you're passing these years, usually time are changing, uh, people are changing, the need of things are changing. As long as you keep that in your mind mm -hmm. and keep your updated in what you do mm -hmm. and then understand what the need of the people is, uh, I think we can always be somewhere mm -hmm. yeah, and then always uh, become better and better. And for me, my satisfaction actually is to grow something, you know, to look that the business become more success, mm -hmm. to work together with my teams, you know, and I carry the vision of my chairman, I carry the vision of my family, uh, and then still uh, in my ear, always uh, remember what my late brother told me, who, where he's thriving, the, uh, uh, you want to thrive the company, mm -hmm. suppose. And then uh, it's a satisfaction when you mm -hmm. deliver. Uh, it's a it's a self motivated self motivation. Uh, sometimes you back home, you know, uh, you, you saw something. Uh, you think, oh, this is something that we must do. Uh, you know, it's come by itself. You know? So for me uh, to uh, deliver uh, is one thing, mm -hmm. but to uh, to feel proud or I mean, to deliver mm -hmm. that's another thing. But so, you already clearly enjoy what you do, uh, and. I can, I, I think I can say that I can see the pride coming out of you, and you are very proud of what you have achieved as a group, as a company, as and, and also personally. But for yourself, your own self, forget the company for one minute. For Dato Zol, what is the next level? Okay, for me, I want to do something that out of nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking at another things. Uh, uh, for example, bicycle. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Is it? Okay. So, uh, maybe so again, it's finding new things. Yeah, new things. Uh -huh. you know? uh, and maybe I'll come up with some bicycle with lifestyle businesses. Uh -huh. uh, I actually have started looking at these opportunities. Uh -huh. you know? And then uh, that is a new thing. I always mm -hmm. like something, but okay, now I've been known doing cars. Yeah. And bike actually basically has come from me. Mm -hmm. and so, that time when, we are, when I started doing bikes, bike. Nobody saw a bike mm -hmm. become a lifestyle. So you pushed, you yeah. pushed for, for the whole two-wheel yeah. division to be yes, what it is yes, today. Yes. Uh -huh. So then uh, this is uh, thing that if I've been success doing cars, that's already success. Is it? It's no more new satisfactions for myself. Mm -hmm. So when I start doing motorcycle, now motorcycle is growing, that is a satisfaction still. Mm -hmm. And then, um, then another thing is, actually I love meeting people. I love to become friends to everybody. Yeah. Uh, this may be that, just how I, I mentioned to you, that I'm lucky I got so many friends. Yeah. But uh, somehow, all my friends, all my customers stay with me very, very long. Mm -hmm. You know, I have a third generation of customers. Third generation, really? Third wow. generation of customers. Imagine when I was 18, 19, I delivered with a grandfather. Uh, you know, the father is still uh, uh, learning for the grandfather. Mm -hmm. Now the uh, grandfather Children. passed away. Yeah. The father is handling the business, and the son only 20 years old. Yeah. So I'm starting this. You know, then for me, this is something that is very, very excited, or very, very proud. You know, you have friends uh, and a customer become a friends, become a family relation, become this. And then uh, with this luxury brand, then the way I'm bringing the brands, uh, you know, it's my work, my family, all combined mm -hmm. to become one. Mm -hmm. okay? So uh, the customer is no longer a customer. Mm -hmm. The customer is, is a part of my day-to-day -day uh, life. You know, it become uh, my 
my family. Yeah. So that's how you do it. So yeah. to, to, to marry work and family and passion together, you can't only have love for something, but you have to be really, really, really passionate about it. And listening to the sound of the Ferraris and the Harley Davidson, as you can hear in the background, I think it's very easy to be passionate about <laughs> everything yeah. I have around you. Thank, thank you so you much for your time. Thank you. It's brilliant talking to you. Uh, well, that's it from me. Uh, I've been talking to uh, Dr. S.M. Zulkifli, the group COO of the Amazon Group, who basically is the man who drives everything that you see in this particular area of town, the two-wheel part. It's all his brainchild. Uh, you've been with me, Saeed Fardino Omar, you've been watching in person, and we hope that you have a great Chinese New Year. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.